Well, here's my answer to DPI Jones inverse sprinkler puzzle. Now I put up here a cross section of a wing and as you can see air moving across the top of the wing will have a greater distance to go therefore it'll move faster decreasing the pressure. Air moving across the bottom will have a shorter distance to go increasing the pressure providing lift. I think the same principle is going to apply when we take a look at our sprinkler problem. And we'll call up the sprinkler here. Now if you look along the outside edge of the sprinkler, the water will have a greater distance to travel and therefore it will have to move faster, reducing the pressure. Along the inside edge of the sprinkler, the water has a shorter distance to go and should increase the pressure. That's why I think that the sprinkler is going to move in the direction, in the clockwise direction, as though it were being sucked towards the water it was pulling in. Now, if you put your sprinkler outside and you turn it on, the thrust created by the water is going to send it whirring in the opposite direction at a pretty good clip. I don't think you're going to have as much power from the reduced pressure of sucking the water through. Also, in a tank, you're going to have a lot more resistance from the water inside. So it'll move, but it's going to move a lot slower than your sprinkler outside would.